Hi everybody, I'm Elise Buckley Weber, the mayor of the city of Agora Hills. Welcome to the State of the City. We have quite a presentation for you today. We're gonna to have a video of all of the activities that have occurred in the city of Agora Hills in the past year. I think we've highlighted some really wonderful businesses in our city and we are want you just to sit back and relax and enjoy watching this video of the fun and the important things that have occurred in the city of Agora Hills this year. Hi, right, Captain Ted Garcia with Los Angeles County Fire Department. Uh, we're the hazardous materials team, response team. Uh, we respond to all hazardous materials incident within the county of Los Angeles, which incorporates the uh, highways. Uh, we deal with trains, industrial accidents, anything that will involve hazardous materials. Today we have our hazardous materials squad. Uh, it is our trailer, which is our equipment truck. It has everything that we need for initial response for a hazardous materials incident. We have meters, suits, uh, SCBAs, uh, computers, uh, all the latest technology that we need to perform our duties as hazardous materials specialists. I'm very proud to announce to all of you that the business of the year in Agora Hills is Ladyface Ale Company. This is a classic business that's an example of what we want in Agora Hills. It's unique and it's community oriented. It's run by locals, it's owned by locals, it employs people in our community. It's been rated as one of the best views in the Conejo Valley with their beautiful patio that overlooks Lady Face Mountain. This is what we want in Agora Hills, is unique and different uh, businesses to bring people into our city as well as to meet the needs of our residents. I'm very proud that um, Serena and Jean-Luc Nuzzi have donated their time and energy over the years at Reyes Adobe Days. They've worked in our community, at our schools. They've done everything from A to Z that you would want from both local residents as well as a local company. Welcome to Agora Hills First Craft Brewery, Lady Face Ale Company, our 2015 Business of the Year. Founders Serena and Jean-Luc Nuzzi, along with brewmaster Dave Griffiths, are all residents of Old Agora. They've created a neighborhood brew pub that truly embodies the spirit of Agora Hills. I'm proud to bestow the honor of 2015 Business of the Year on Ladyface Ale Company. Thank you, Elise. Thank you. We're very pleased to be here today in your beautiful brewery, you know, Ladyface, because Ladyface is always meant to be an extension of my living room or dining room. And it is like a place away from home. In fact, you have a large community table in the middle of the restaurant, and even the artwork in the, in the restaurant. Can you tell us something about that? Um, I love, uh, I grew up in kind of in a, a Victorian, this is probably a turn of the century table, so it was very much of a Victorian atmosphere growing up. My mother collected antiques, um, and I've always admired Mucha, who's the illustrator that uh, the paintings are inspired by and all of the graphic design. So my mother did the full-size paintings that hang on the wall, um, and I take care of all the graphic design that comes out of Ladyface. And I understand that each one of the paintings symbolizes a season of the year, is that right? A season and the beers, specifically. So um, there is a barley wine, Blue Belly Barley Wine, uh, that encapsulates the um, local native uh, tribes that used to live in the area, the Chumash Indians. Um, so Blue Belly is named after the Blue Belly Lizards, and this was Dave's idea because um, he's always admired the little blue belly and the color. Um, not that the beer is the color of the blue belly, but it's, uh, it's fun. So we kind of tied in that, that local history uh, and folklore. And what does the future hold for Ladyface Ale? Well, just make more beer. We're peddling <laughs> as fast as we can. <laughs> I've been here a few times when you're out of several different beers, so I know how challenging it must yep. be to keep things on stock. People get very grumpy, but we have 17 beers on tap, so 
Right. Something One of the things that I love about coming to Ladyface is for a woman, I can come here by myself. It seems very family oriented and I can sit at the bar and chit chat with the employees and it's a very comforting feeling. Um, so thank you for making it that way. Do you have a lot of people who come in here regularly? Uh, a lot of regulars. I mean, we cater to the local community, so you know that's important to us. Um, and we wanted to make it family friendly. I mean, you know, both Dave and I and my husband, you know, we have kids, so we get it. And that's what this community is, is made up for. But I think that's part of our success is that Ladyface has, you know, appeals to a very broad audience. You know, from you know the elderly to the very young hipster crowd. You know, there's there's something here for everybody, and and it's. It's hard to do, but yet it feels like it comes naturally. Right, and I know that sometimes you even have our local bands will come in and play on a Friday or Saturday night. Yep, that's fun too. So, so. some of the high school kids have played here, jazz trios, um, and yeah, just you know, musicians that live in the neighborhood. Well, great. Well, keep up the good work, and we couldn't be—I couldn't be prouder than to have you be the 2015 Business of the Year. Thank you. You've really brought so much to our community. I know many people have had events out on your patio, and just keep it up. And we love having you here. Yeah, Thank okay. you. The uniqueness of our local businesses. It, we have many, many small, medium, and large businesses here. Uh, very few that are cookie cutter. They all have their own merits to them and they each and every one of them is bringing something to the city itself. Hello everybody, it's me again, Elise Buckley Weber, the mayor of the city of Agoura Hills, and today I am here with Derek Castellano from Teradyne Inc., um, a large company in the city of Agoura Hills, and we're thrilled to have you here with us today. Can you tell us a little bit about what Teradyne does? Sure. So you might have to dummy it down <laughs> for us, but if you could tell us what you do, that sure, would be yeah. great. So we're a uh, semiconductor chip tester company, so we actually design and manufacture uh, equipment that our customers use to test their devices and those devices come in various shapes and sizes. Uh, this is an example of a wafer um, where the devices are placed on the wafer. We have to test them in that format and we also test them when they're, when they're packaged as well. Um, can you tell us anything else? Of what do you like to do in Agora Hills? You said you do some bike riding. Well we do, have a, we do have a group here at Teradyne locally that uh, every Wednesday afternoon we ride through the hills of, of Agora and uh, out toward Malibu and so it's a great location for getting people out there. Some of our employees will take walks in the area uh, lunchtime. Uh, a lot of nice new uh, bike trails. And have you visited some of our <laughs> restaurants in the area? Oh sure, in fact uh, a lot of times, we, in fact today we have a, a customer in town and so uh, as part of that activity it's bringing them to the local area's uh, uh, restaurants. Great, well. great, we like that. Well, Derek, thank you so much yep. for being yeah, part of our program pleasure. today. We Absolutely. really appreciate it. It's our state of the city, and we really wanted to highlight some of our local businesses. Well, we so appreciate we, it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We appreciate your time. Yeah. Take care. Good morning, I'm Elise Buckley Weber, the mayor of the city of Agoura Hills, and today I'm honored to be here with Kathleen Walk, the general manager of the Hampton Inn in our city of Agoura Hills here on Agoura Road. Very pleased to be with you today. It's Thank really a pleasure. You. you have a lovely hotel. Thank you. Thanks for being here. And Hampton came through with a beautiful hotel that met our design standards with our, and I noticed that you have a, one of our 21 pieces of art uh, in public places that's on a map. Uh, we really love this hotel. The architecture is great. And you were saying earlier um, what your customers say about when they sometimes pass the hotel. Yeah, they, they when people come here, they don't. Oftentimes, they say they drove right by the property because they didn't realize it was a hotel. It's so pretty. And we still have Hilton bring pe brings people from that are interested in building a Hampton, bring them out here to show our hotel. That's wonderful. Yeah. I've heard that sometimes they use it as a prototype around the country. So we really appreciate that. Thank you so much for be joining me this morning for this interview for our State of the City. And uh, we really appreciate that the Hampton Inn is here in Agora Hills. And we hope that you will continue to prosper and do really Thank well. You. And good luck with the Tourist Improvement Thank District. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Great. It's a pleasure to Thank have you met so you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Take care.
I was recently asked what do I love most about Agora Hills, and without hesitation, it's the residents. The people here are so special. Not only do they open their doors and open their hearts to everybody in our community, which we've seen in, type, in times of emergency, whether it's fire, earthquake, or any other, or overturned oil tanker. We all work together to overcome obstacles in our community. I love, I think, that the people of Agora Hills are great consumers, they have high expectations, and they they are the types of people who go out and make our businesses proud to serve them. Hi, I'm Ryan from Camp Canaret. We're a proud sponsor of the Fam Camp Canaret Family Fun Run. We started sponsoring the Family Fun Run as a big part of the Great Race because it gets kids outside uh, doing uh, things outdoors with their parents and getting them to do stuff together without technology. Um, so that's what camp's all about. We've been in Agora since the 70s, and this is actually our 61st summer uh, this year, and we've been a proud sponsor of the Great Race since it started in different forms over the years. So we're thrilled to be here. Camp Canaret is a very classic summer camp. It's about uh, building self-confidence and uh, critical thinking and communication and creativity so we really build social skills while doing things like archery and basketball and music and drama and arts and crafts and of course swimming every day which is the only thing we do every single day again. Okay, uh, Melissa Wesley, owner of Super Pop Snacks. Um, this is our first time here at the Great Race. Our products are superfood protein nut butter bars. They're gluten, soy and dairy free. The base of the bars are made with nut butters and puff quinoa and they're delicious. And uh, it's been a great event today, a little hot, but everyone's been loving the bars and then coming back and telling their friends. We're so excited to be here. You can find them online at superpopsnacks.com. Also, uh, 15 store locations, uh, which are all on our website. We have um, our big event of the year is Reyes Adobe Days. I know that many of you have participated in Reyes Adobe Days and we just love everything starting with, it's a four day festival and we start with a senior lunch uh, with a big Mexican fiesta under a tent at Reyes Adobe, at the Adobe. It's just a wonderfully attended event and everybody enjoys it and it kicks off a this four-day weekend of nothing but fun and history and culture and art. And Cookie is a street artist who is local, has a studio over in the Wizen Marketplace, and he brought a whole new genre of art for all of us to see. Medea Creek Restoration Project is really a win-win for the residents, our local businesses, and for the environment. I'm very proud of that project. Um, it was something that we wanted to work on. <laughs> so let me just say a few words. Obviously, as you sit here today, you know that this required a lot of teamwork. And that's what we are. We're one big team. Um, and we wanted to restore the creek, bring back the creek, natural habitat. And just while sitting there, I saw four different species of birds. So this is really going to be such an asset to our community and I know our residents are going to love it. The late President Reagan um, made a statement in Berlin and he said, tear down that wall. So today, that's what we're going to do. Tear down that concrete. We've just come to the end of our video and I want to thank you one more time, each and every one of you, for coming out today and supporting the City of Agora Hills. We really appreciate everything that each one of you do. Uh, without you, we wouldn't be the city that we are. And thank you so much and have a good rest of the day.